We're back again with the H5P activity series and we're looking at the true false activity type using H5P inside the Moodle LMS. We're talking Moodle 4.0. This is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. So let's jump in, see what the true false activity looks like. Jump into true false and you'll see here all we have is a question with the options of either true or false. So you have the question, is the band Empire Between awesome? There's a link to it if you'd like to check that out, empirebetween.com slash YouTube music. Uh, this is my music that I've written and recorded with my daughter who also wrote the lyrics and melodies and sings on the recordings. It's a lot of fun. Can't have a listen to it. But of course the answer is true. All the person has to do, all the student has to do is answer true or false to whatever the question is. Use the button that says check and it will tell them if they got it correct, give them a result as well. Quite simple, easy to do not complicated at all. Once they've answered it, that's it. If they do refresh the page though, comes back again where they can then remark that or re have a go at that question. And if they choose false, go check answer, it will tell them they got it wrong. They can, there is a show solution button, which you can turn off. There is also a retry button, which you can turn off as well. So that's completely up to you. So let's have a look at how we created that true false question in H5P. Let's jump into our H5P course and choose add an activity or resource, we choose H5P. And this is a true false question. Obviously you don't have to call it that, I'm just using it as, as an example. We need to go to the content bank to create the question. We choose add and we look for true false. True false question. And I'll just type in here true false question again just as the title question is is ricochet.com.au your favorite youtube channel and then we have the options are true and false and it we decide which is correct the correct answer is obviously true so we're going to leave true as the correct answer that's really all you have to do is put in the question, put in true or false. Now, a cool little extra bit you can do is you can add media as well above the question. So you may want to put an image in there where you ask something about an image and the answer is true or false in relation to the image or to the video or to the audio. So you can put any of those in as extra media. I won't do that this time, but that's all you have to do. If you choose image, you then choose add, put in an image, put in the alt text and disable zooming if you need to otherwise you can leave zooming in uh, but that's an option that you can do is to add an image so we'll just remove that image video or audio all right the behavioral settings are fairly similar to any of the other ones that we've looked at before if you haven't check out some of the others but the retry button you can hide that the show solution button can be hidden uh, you can also show confirmation dialogue on check which just confirms are you sure you want to Confirmation dialogue on retry, are you sure? Uh, automatically check answer. Now that's a um, accessibility issue it says there, so maybe don't check that because that's probably not what you really want. Then there's feedback on the correct answer and there's feedback on the wrong answer. And you can use some variables called at score to show the current score and at total to show the total. But at the moment that's probably a bit irrelevant when we're just talking about a single true false question because we can only put one question in here. Uh, when we deal with multiple questions, which I'll show you later in another, in another video, you'll get to see how that works. So we can still put the feedback though uh, in here where we can say something like that is the correct answer or sorry, incorrect. Text overrides allows you to change any of the terminology that relates to the button. So instead of true, false, you could have yes, no, or you could have you know some other options. So it doesn't have to be true, false. It can be two opposite uh, or two different answers where they choose which one it is they want out of those two options. So it, it's sort of like multiple choice, but, but with true, false. You can change any of the other buttons too, if you need to. Once you change it in one though, you probably need to change it in all of them. So. Uh, and then there's the information when they're finished, are you sure you wish to finish if they've given the option of um, complete. Okay, let's save and have a look what it looks like. So is youtube.ricochet your favorite YouTube channel and 
Of course, the correct answer is yes. Let's say no though and go check. And there it comes with sorry, incorrect. Then there's the show solution retry. If you select true, go check again, they get a correct answer and that's all correct. And that's all there is to creating that question type. Let's add that to our page. So close that window, close that tab, go back to our files in our H5P page, choose the content bank, and then we're going with our true false question and it's the most recent one just here. We should have named them differently, shouldn't we? Save and display. And there's our question inside a Moodle activity, H5P activity. Is HTTPS youtube.com dot oh dot au youtube.com slash at ricochet your favorite youtube channel and of course the entry is yes and check and it says correct fantastic that's all there is to it hope that's been helpful my name is chris richter i'll talk to you again soon but don't forget to check out the courses in the description for this video uh, there's some great moodle courses there that will be really helpful to you i'll talk to you again in the next video